We continue our series of interviews with three candidates who have filed petitions to run for Knox County Mayor. They are all Republicans and all have agreed to join us throughout the next few weeks to talk about their priorities for the county. Now, the framework for our conversations focuses on the biggest slices of the almost $800 million county budget. Glenn Jacobs back for us to talk about public safety. Thanks again for being here. Thanks for having us. About 11% of the Knox County budget goes into public safety. We're talking about uh, maintaining the jail and also hiring deputies. What are your priorities for them? We can't talk about public safety without talking about the opioid, heroin, and fentanyl epidemic. In 2016, Congress passed the uh, Comprehensive Addiction and Recovery Act, and President Trump has been very supportive of that. And uh, Governor Haslam just talked about his priorities with the opioid epidemic in the State of the State address. So there is going to be money coming to address that problem, but it's going to take a whole lot more than money. I think it takes us as a community to come together to build coalitions between the government, schools, churches, foundations and nonprofits, all of us to address this, you know, um, to preemptively make sure that people don't go down that path to educate our kids of what happens um, when they make bad choices. But then also on the other side, if people do make those choices, to give them a pathway out and make sure that they stay on that pathway. Uh, you know, John, I'd like to see the next capital project that the county has uh, be something that's economically productive, schools, roads, bridges, and that sort of thing. My fear is that next capital project is going to be an expansion of the detention center. Another thing Do, that, Are you supportive of the new plan to put in the behavioral health um, yes. short-term emergency clinic for people? Yes, 25% tw of the inmates at the detention center are mentally ill. We're not helping them and certainly we're wasting a precious resource with our police doing that job a job that they're not trained for so you favor frankly. that capital project yes what about pay for deputies these are our men and women who are on the front lines of this issue should they get more than the low 30s starting that job certainly there are people that are out there as you said they are on the front line they're the most important people in our public safety we like to take care of them take care of the people take care of us how do you do that within the budget you know and that's always the thing where do you get that money if we have to spend less money over here we can spend more money on them so that's a choice you face as, as mayor sure. at least in the suggestion the sheriff comes up with his budget but you can negotiate is that something you'd right. want to negotiate for higher we, pay? yeah i'd love to I'd mm -hmm. love to. Again, we have to figure out how it fits in the budget and how to do that. Another thing I think that we need to address is there's a strong correlation between poverty and crime. Uh, for years, we've thrown money at poverty with very little success. Uh, I think what we need to do is come together as business leaders, as community leaders, and make sure that we're providing economic opportunities in our uh, more at-risk areas because nothing stops a bull like a job. All right, Glenn Jacobs, we'll leave our conversation there. Appreciate your time. We'll Thank see you, you back here next week. Appreciate it. Thank yeah, you. Absolutely.